Hey everyone, Zdev here and welcome to Discronia episode 2 overview. We're continuing what we started, what was that, like two months? The first episode released two and a half months ago, okay, it wasn't that long time ago. At this point, including the third episode that we release later on, this series is gonna be <laughs> over 60 parts for sure. I guess that's why it was split into three separate releases. I just have to deal with it somehow. Going into the second iteration of the Starline, I have couple wishes to be upgraded from the first game. Essentially the most annoying things were little blinks in between the conversations and weird scene cuts pretty much every one minute or two. On top of that the AD cancelling was never my thing and it was always boring to do. Like I always felt like it's a waste of time because I didn't really get much from it and the last update didn't help it either so I wonder how it's gonna be resolved this time around. We're gonna for sure continue where we left off with Cecilia and this episode will probably revolve around her. It's gonna be a lot of time traveling though, so I just wonder how the devs figured out a consistent thought process behind the storyline because it can't get mishimashi in that category, the time travel is not an easy thing to do. But overall I feel like I know what I'm getting into. There might be some slight changes to the gameplay or maybe some new features. I also don't know how it's gonna be resolved on the store, like is it gonna be a separate title? We will be able to transfer the save file from the first game to the second. Does it even matter like the decisions that you made because it didn't seem like it. Also I don't know on what platform we'll be playing because I have it on the quest 2 but the game doesn't support cloud saving system so we might be stuck on that and not play it on the pro. We're gonna do the playthrough right away on the channel even though we have two ongoing ones already. There's just so much footage to do nowadays like meta does not hold back this creature. Christmas period. Let's jump back to Astrium. So, it seems like we're back on the quest too, like, I tried on the pro but it starts over from the first kinda chapter. Also fun fact, the developers ghosted me again, just like in the first video, cause I asked them about the details of this release and how it's gonna be actually resolved. No answer whatsoever, yet again. I'm just saying that the responsiveness is like zero, <laughs> which is very weird because I'm known for this series but Let's start the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's where we were left off. <laughs> Hal, where have you been? Maya, she's dead. Oh. Uh. Dead? This wasn't supposed to happen. I've got to rewind time again. I need to get back to where I was before. If I just can revisit the past. That little girl. She isn't here. Oh my god. Why am I drifting? I'm so used to the pro mechanics already that... Quest is just obsolete. <laughs> Please go. This place, when I touch the device, it's like being bathed in light. That's gorgeous. Is that what happened three days ago? Uh, I think. The founder of that city just died. Just died. We gotta move. We gotta move. I'm gonna head to the. I'm gonna head to the. Look, training is over. Head back and wait for results. Yeah, this was the first moments of the game. I can't believe there was a murder here in the city. There's that light again. I guess I should try and follow it. Oh hell. Always some point. <laughs> when Professor Rumford died, and this all began, 
when I became a supervisor and got assigned the case. Are these reflections of my past memories? Yeah, is this a recap of everything? It seems like fragments of memories fall and pile up in this place. Well, I don't choose the gameplay, so that's on the depths. When I met Keith and discovered the lab beneath the professor's house, if the whole overview or whatever it is is gonna be just that, that's not my fault. Just tell them that. <laughs> I think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Public trial on the evening of the third day, when I indicted Cecilia. Back then, I didn't know Maya was inside the marionette. So actually, okay. If things continue the way they're going, Maya's gonna end up dead. But what's other choice? The path seemed very clear. I swear to God, those controllers. Maya. Thanks for that. Hal, you've got to help her. Hal, what gives, man? Taking off like that? Maya? What happened? Even if I can't use that device, there's still something I can do. If I dive into Ash's past, there's a chance I could save Maya. Really? Not just rewind and... Do it yourself. But like it changes his actions. Huh? Wait, what? The trial's over. The marionette got indicted. What is this rumor? When I heard all the data from the underground room got wiped, I started freaking out. But that calibration data you gave me really saved the day. Thanks, Irie. Whatever. It's not like I did it for you. I just want to make sure the marionette gets caught as soon as possible. How long has Ash been dealing with her? Wait a moment. Could it have been Ash who left Cecilia's data on my desk? Shady. What exactly is the marionette? What were you doing with that data? That whole project was supposed to be top secret. Even us supervisors didn't have access. When did you get a hold of it? Look, I helped you out, no questions asked. The least you could do is answer that. I've had it for so long. Before I even came to the city, 12 years ago, the research the professor and I were working on, the marionette Cestelia is the end result. Cestelia is a clone of the variant that caused the accident in the clock tower 12 years ago. Hmm, interesting. But what's the original 
When they were created, they were connected to the original via their personality substrate. I don't think you understand how dangerous they are. Why did they kill the professor? I don't know. But I have a feeling they were after this. What's that? <sighs> if you spot Cecilia, aim for the device on their neck. Listen, if Cecilia's gotten hold of the other one of these, if we don't get it back, it'll be a repeat of what happened 12 years ago. 12 years ago? Irie, so you're... Huh? Is that Hal over there? And that's... Cecilia. Not long now. If I interfere at the exact moment Ash raises his weapon... I don't know. Wait. Uh. Hal, are you okay? Oopsie. <laughs> Hal, you have to get home right now. Maya, she's. Hey, wait. What's gotten into you, man? That didn't work. <laughs> I tried to do something. If I don't stop Ash, nothing's going to change. I need to interfere with his weapon before he shoots Cecilia. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what do I do? Like... <sighs> oh, okay. Something seems off with Hal. I thought he was tracking down the marionette just like me. But maybe I was wrong? I'll see what he has to say. Hal, come on! Hey! Wait! You'll hit Hal! Don't be stupid! Get out of the way! What the? Lovely. Well, that was it. Did you interfere with time again? Why? <laughs> the future had already changed. What do you mean? Because Cecilia died? Exactly. In that future, the city might have survived. Oh, damn. <laughs> Even if that was the case, with Maya dead, would it be the point in carrying on? Hmm. But that's... what's gonna happen, no? <laughs> like, if we will save everything. You and Maya are connected, aren't you? Why do I keep finding you in this place? One day, I found myself here. I made someone a promise. That's the only thing I remember. Be careful. When you interfere with the past, you interfere with the future. What the? Hal. Hal, this way. Follow me. Hurry up, or I'll leave you behind. Maya. Maya, wait. Who are you? Don't get close to me. Ew. Where am I? That's a good question. I'm the only one here. It's so dark. So cold. Um. Maya. She's safe. What a relief. What? Maya? Where did Maya go? 
I've got to try and find her. Traces of the marionette Cecilia have been detected. Ugh. What if they make it over here? I need to do something. Bye. Faster. Initiating pursuit. <sighs> that should have bought me some time at least. I have to warn Maya that she's in danger too. The hell is going on? Who's knocking? Hmm. What was that? Oh, here? Does this duct lead outside? How? I know you're there! <laughs> Open up, mister! Lily? <laughs> you must be so happy to see me! <laughs> Actually, yeah. Lily! What's the matter? What's that look for? Did you get all scared from being alone in the dark? No, of course I didn't. I... Don't try and fool me, mister! I can read you like an open book! <laughs> You've always hated the dark ever since you were little! You used to cling to me for dear life! Go on! You can give me a head rub if it makes you feel better! I'm not a little kid anymore, Lily. You feel much better with me by your side, don't you? So, how about that head rub? Oh my god. Half the tables have turned. That's more like it! That I actually like her. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Jeez. When Lily gets like this, she doesn't listen to anything I say. Still, I guess I should be thankful. I feel calmer with her around. Alright, well, Lily is here with me now, and we have to end here. Like I told you, <laughs> the time limit and just the intro, that's just reality of recordings. What can I say? I have no notes, honestly, because everything is literally the same as it was. I'll try to look into the pro playthrough, but I think we're stuck with that just due to the developer's non-response and stuff like that. So we're gonna continue it as fast as possible. Another 20 part dyschronia situation. <laughs>